Hi guys, welcome to Diabetes Doctor channel. I know today you're wondering why we look a bit different. Hilda is without a lab coat. Well, we are at Alpha Fit Gym and today the topic is all about exercise. As you know, diabetes and exercise are like this. So with me is the legendary Shiv Simani. Thank Karibu you. Shiv. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you, Hilda. So tell us, um, what, what, what do you do? Why are we here today? Yeah. Um, so my name is Shivaranjan Simani. Mm -hmm. I'm a CrossFit Level 1 trainer yeah. and a social media influencer. So basically what I try to portray on social media or help guys with is how to live a healthy lifestyle, how yeah. to live an active lifestyle, how to incorporate it in your day to day, mm -hmm. uh, from morning to evening, how to eat and just what to do, what you can do to move just to keep active. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. And you know, guys, diabetes is all about exercise and diet. So this is the exercise part. Yeah. Now, Shiv, I have a question for you. There's something called HIIT. Just explain to us what HIIT is, because of late, a lot of diabetics are wondering how they, they can incorporate such things in their regimen. So tell us about HIIT. All right. So HIIT is basically high interval, uh, high interval intensity training. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so basically what it is, is you're working out for a certain amount of time, basically a short period of time, maybe from any of from 15 to one minute of you working as hard as you can and then resting for around the same time that you worked out. So if you're doing one minute of work, maybe you're doing one minute of rest. Or are you doing 30 seconds of hard work, 30 seconds of rest? Or are you doing a minute of work and 30 seconds of rest um, kind of thing? Or are you doing uh, consecutive workouts, maybe you're doing some squats, some push-ups, some running, some skipping in a row, and then you rest for some time. So it's all out and then rest, all out and then rest. The rest is basically to try and recover um, just enough to help you push a, a, again. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. And we are very lucky because today, Shiv is going to demonstrate to us how it is done using yours truly as a prop, but we are going to learn a lot from that. So I want us to know further, how does HIIT um, benefit the body? Um, so HIIT would take you through different energy pathways. Yeah. There's, um, you can, there's three energy pathways that would make. Go through, that's yeah. phosphagen or anaerobic or aerobic. So the aerobic would be longer stints of working out. Maybe you're starting to hit 20 minutes and above, 15 to 20 minutes and above. Mm -hmm. That would probably be said to be ana aerobic, sorry, aerobic. That means you're able to work out and you're also able to breathe um, fairly well. You're still breathing hard, but you're able to breathe. Mm -hmm. Now, an anaerobic would be um, where you're breathing very little, like it's like a sprint. So it's like high intensity, like for very, a very short period of time, and then you rest. You don't get okay. much oxygen in your system during an anaerobic workout. Okay. Phosphogen is the same. It's extremely intense. Uh, maybe like a 100 meter sprint or uh, it's, it's very short, like five to 10 seconds of intense work oh. or even like a one rep max mm. a lift for a deadlift. Okay. Something that you go all out, your central nervous system is being taxed mm. for a, that five to se seven seconds. You're not inhaling any oxygen. Mm. So your body is working without, um, without that oxygen. oxygen. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, we just try to take you through those different energy pathways through the different workouts. Um, just to condition your system and your body in different ways. Okay. Um, well, yeah. we are looking forward to, do, to doing that. Yeah. Now, another thing is, um, does this mean that you're incorporating both resistance and aerobic together? Yes. Yeah. 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 So, um, some days we'll incorporate um, a lot of resistance training. Um, some days you just do maybe a more cardio-based workouts, that's like running, rowing, skipping. Some days we'll incorporate some weights and some gymnastic movements such as pull-ups, um, push-ups, even just body weight squats yeah. would be considered gymnastics. Mm. Um, some days we incorporate more weights. So yes, we incorporate as much as possible mm. depending on what we're looking to get from the particular workout. So in HIIT, is it a one size fits all mm. or do you do it according to each person's needs? Um, so usually what will happen is there's yeah. a workout of the day. Yeah. And now this workout of the day, it's the um, work of me as a coach mm -hmm. um, to now customize it as per individual. Yeah. So let's say the workout is um, 20 air squats, uh, 20 sit-ups, mm -hmm. a 100 meter run. Mm -hmm. 20 air squats, 20 sit-ups, 100 meter run. 
But now that's what, that's, that's what I've said for the class. And maybe you're supposed to do five rounds. Mm -hmm. However, there's someone who's just come in and is not able to do this because this is their first time working out. Mm -hmm. And you see what looks intense for me might not uh, be intense for someone else yeah. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. So I would scale it according to their level and be like, okay, for today, instead of doing the 20 squats, you just do 10 squats, mm -hmm. do 10 sit-ups instead of, and do 50 meters. Mm -hmm. But you see that for them is as intense as it gets. Mm -hmm. But for me, I'll probably make, make, now I, I need to do now the 20, 20, 20 to yeah. get the same intensity. Yeah. The idea is that at least everyone in the class can finish the workouts, you know, maybe I'd say within four to eight minutes mm -hmm. of each other. Yeah. Um, so that one is not finishing like so quickly, then the other one is finishing like 30 minutes later. Mm -hmm. So you're customizing it. So they're all getting the same kind of um, stimulus from the workout. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, now that you've talked about the whole individualization, that's called mm. individualization, which means yes. everyone has their own uh, treatment pathway, but yeah. at the same time, the goal is the same. Yeah. So tell us about weight gain in exercise, because mm. sometimes I have patients who tell me, Dr. Ah. I, went to, I went to exercise and then I gained weight instead of losing. Yeah. What is this about weight and exercise? Yeah, um, good question. Um, also, okay, so first is this, the person needs to define if they're coming to the gym to add weight, because mm -hmm. I came to the gym to add weight, I didn't come to really lose weight. Mm -hmm. So if they're coming to lose weight, let's say lose fat, I'd like to say lose fat, mm -hmm. because if we're trying to add the, get them to lose weight in general, then that also means we're asking them to lose muscle. Mm -hmm. So we have fat, we have muscle, and we don't want you to lose muscle, because mm -hmm. that's what gets you strong, that's what gives you longevity at the end, at the end of the day. Yeah. But we also don't want you to lose too much fat. So if they're coming to lose their excess fat, um, then first of all, they not only need to work out, but they need to be on a caloric deficit with their meal plan. Mm -hmm. So caloric deficit means basically we get what they're supposed to eat in a day. That's their basal metabolic rate. Mm -hmm. There are a number of calories they should eat to maintain their weight. Mm -hmm. And this is usually calculated by, you know, getting the person's weight, person's height. Are they male or female? How active are they during the day? um kind of things then from that we get the vessel metabolic let's say you're supposed to eat 1000 calories for you this is just an example this is an example so 1000 calories for you to maintain your weight so if you continue eating 1000 calories every day you're going to stay as is yeah so now what we'll do is we'll take a few calories from there so we'll remove maybe 200 calories and i'll put you on 800 calories a day and that's what now will get you to start to lose the weight because now your body needs to get um, energy from another source. So yeah. it starts to, it start to tap into its own fat stores yes. to convert that into energy, yeah. essentially, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, and now if you're working out, you're accelerating this process by building muscle. Um, and the more muscle your body has, generally, the more um, fat you're burning at rest because it takes more energy for the body to maintain muscle mass than yeah. it does to maintain fat mass. Mm, um, yeah, and also now back to, I may have gone too far back to the question is, when they come, they may start adding weight, but um, adding muscle, but because of that, um, the scale looks like it's staying the same or it's going up. However, inches are a good place to go if you're looking to track your progress. So measure your inches. I'd say every two weeks or every week, your arm, your waist, uh, your hips, yeah. your thigh, that's a good indicator if you're adding weight or losing weight. If your waist is going down, especially you're 100% cutting out fat, excess fat. Yeah, so that's a really good indicator. I yeah. think that's gonna be my focus. Let's just yeah. start this exercise and <laughs> lose this. Yeah. Anyway, let's start the exercise, guys. Before we move on to the exercise, I'd like to introduce two very important participants. Please tell us about yourselves. Hello, I'm Jesse. I'm a type 1 diabetes, a lab exercise, mostly I do aerobics, steps, rumba, so we meet, so yeah. Yes? I am Brian Ekodere, a type 1 diabetic for 7 years, I'm basically here to do some exercises and to be fit, that's all about it. And you've run the marathon twice, right? Yeah. Type 1 diabetics doing great things. So let's go and exercise. The, the noise comes on. 
You can start, yeah? Two, one, scoop. Nice. Then you go for your five sit-ups. And thrusters. Squat, press. Nice. Let's go, increase the pace. And up, nice. And up, good, good, good. So up, up, down, let's go right there. All out, all out, all out. Hit those five calories, 15 seconds to go. Three. Time. That's it. Done. Good job. Good job, guys. Good, good, good. That's it for today. Um, yeah, so that's a workout. That's an example of like a seven minute aerobic workout where you're still able to breathe through the workout, uh, but it's just intense enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'd just like to hear your experiences um, from anyone who'd like to start. Josephine? Experience was good. Yeah. I love challenging myself. So that's what it even means. I challenge myself. Yeah. That so cycle is gone. You the feel gone. you feel it's gone because now my body yes. needs energy. So I know my body is producing the, the yeah. glucose. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, that's a great that's a great thing, especially since before how you're feeling very low, now you're feeling yeah, great high and your spirits are high so that's great that's like immediate effects yeah. immediate effects which is great yeah Brian feeling stronger feeling stronger <laughs> yeah. yeah it was a nice experience uh, personally I loved uh, the bike yeah it's like a real bike but uh, advanced yeah yeah it's called an assault bike or an air bike um, nice yeah and the harder you push the more you get from it, yeah. Good, you did well. You did well. Yeah. Hilda? The thrusters. Yeah. Those yeah. ones? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I also enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Um, I enjoyed all of them, but mostly the sit ups and the thrusters. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they were just bringing energy to my body. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys have any other questions for me? Um, if not, um, I think Hilda. This take it to you. Okay. Where, where Over can to we you. find you? Where yeah. can we get you if you have other questions and some viewers want to ask you something? Um, so you can find me on my Instagram uh, at Shiv Simani or Twitter at Shiv Simani or Facebook at Shiv Simani um, or just email, email me uh, contact at shivsimani.com. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank yeah. you so much. We've really enjoyed this uh, session today. Remember, as you said at the beginning, two of us here actually have diabetes and they have really enjoyed the workouts. Anyone with diabetes can do this. As long as you get a proper professional opinion from your doctor and from your fitness expert. Make sure that you're able to get a proper consultation before you undertake this. But thank you so much for joining and stay tuned and start exercising. Bye. Bye.